Namaste Dosto, Mumbai is home to a black market where you'll find books at incredible prices. So let's go shopping and let's see how they compare in price to local stores and foreign stores. The market covers the streets surrounding Flora Fountain in the heart of Mumbai's business district. And it wouldn't be India without the contrast of legitimate bookstores and the serious fraud office just a few meters away. Before we tour the market, compare prices, and talk about the benefits of this market, let's see how to identify a counterfeit book. The very first time that I came to India, like, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago, I brought Shantaram from this very market, and when I got home to read it, I realized there was pages missing. So that's how I knew it was counterfeit. The photocopier hadn't worked on, I know, a small number of pages in the book. So one tip is before buying a book, open it flip through the book, check all the pages are there. And here we have 50 Shades of Grey. He was trying to upsell it to me, but I don't think it's my kind of book. But you can tell that this is a such bad quality that it's definitely counterfeit. So one thing you can see here is the binding is very poor quality and it's already coming off here. The pages are moldy. Okay, so here we have the real copy and the fake copy of Fifty Shades of Grey. And you can just tell straight away the color is different on this one. The contrast levels are different. But this also has embossed text. This doesn't have embossed text. Ah, what's your name? I'm going to you. And you can see on the print job here, the, the colors are kind of separated. It might be a bit hard to see here, but yeah, the colors are separated on the print job on the back. Whereas here, it's perfect, it's beautiful. The print job isn't as good inside. You'll see on the right page there, the text is nearly inside the spine. You're really going to have to pull that book to read it. You can see some of the pages are very um, faint. And then some of the text is even smudged in this book as well. And some pages, the text isn't aligned properly. But then if you look at the original copy, Yeah, the pages have changed color a bit from age. But the print job's nice, you can read everything. The alignment's good. The print job's very uniform across the book. And you can see the legitimate copy at the bottom's thicker because they've used higher quality and thicker paper. Uh, they've both got the same number of pages, but the counterfeit version's just a lot more flimsy. So now you should be able to spot a counterfeit book here at this market. It is quite obvious, you will know the overall lower quality of a counterfeit product and you will notice defects. The legitimate versions are perfectly printed and they're just nicer and easier to read actually. So that's the difference, but obviously the price is quite different. Now let's go and see what the price difference is from a counterfeit to a local store here and then also what it would cost me in my country in New Zealand to buy the same book. Bro, how do you know what you have? Yeah, I have. I have lots of books. You have like, a lot of books, man. Yeah, like non fiction, fiction, antique. Okay, antique books as well. Just so much books, man. Yeah. There's a good one. White Tiger. White Tiger. White. Do you have anything from? I have new collection. Abdul Kalam. Yeah, I have. APJ Abdul Kalam. No? Hanji, Hanji. I really like Abdul Kalam. He's like a breath of fresh air and I think more foreigners should learn about him and read about him. Oh, this is a very Indian book. The Complete Kama Sutra. Mil gaya? Yeah. All right, I'll take this. Nakli nahi hai na? No, no. Asli hai? Yeah. Meri biwi se? Your wife is Indian. Hanji, Hanji, Haryana se? I'm. I'm also from Haryana. Hey, Haryana mein kaha? Haryana Bahadurgarh. Oh, Bahadurgarh, huh? We are from Sekta Where are you from? Sekta Bahadurgarh. Hey. Anji. Nice to meet you. What are you doing in Mumbai, man? Uh, like my bookstall and I'm an artist. Ah, okay. Sekta 5 is my house. Acha, we live next to each other. Do you know... Yeah, um, yeah you know Toltex? Yeah, I know. That's why. What and, about... Um, uh, Razda Dhaba. 
Ja, ja, ja. Belu, Belu, um, de Pakore Ja. He's the best, man. Ja, yeah, man. Oh, there, yeah. Small world, small world. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Bro, kit make eh? Uh, how much? 200. 200. Doso? Yeah. Me hangi hai na? Nahi. Its original price is 500. Okay. No, it looks good though. I'll take it. You are from my city, then I'll give you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, bro. How many rupees hai, Varupa? 15 rupees ka ek bada boy. Thank you, G. I gotta stop for some food. Look at this, this is Vara Pao. This is the most common street food here on the streets of Mumbai. And it's just chili, some chutney, and a fried potato ball. That's it, it's like a vegetarian burger, basically. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> mein Kampf. This is printed in Mumbai. Shivaji, the great Maratha. Autobiography of a Yogi, very popular a book. Yes. Sapiens is here, it's a great book. How do we read Sapiens? Bit of Priyanka Chopra, because it's India. And yeah, just more books all the way around. This guy is only selling, or mostly selling new books. And these are all the new books. Wow. And these are all 100 rupees each. This is the best deal you're gonna get on this street for a book. So the secret. And now these, yeah, look at that. 12 pound it says. Yeah, you can see the bad print job at the top there, where it says the secret and the page number. These are all, all counterfeit. The quality of the image is not good. Obviously, you can't see anything there. Rich dad, poor dad. Do epic. Shh. Warren Buffett for the J Shetty. Yeah, quite a bit here. Quite a bit here. And. Now we're gonna take, we're gonna take this. It's 100 rupees here, and let's see how much it is in the store, and then how much it is in my country as well. 100 rupees is just $1.29 American. That is a real bargain. Meow, meow. Hello, meow. Meow, Billy, meow. Are we friends? Oh, you're a little one, you're a little one. These are all the cats around the bookstore here and this bookstore owner is very kindly looking after them, feeding them. Hanji. So the counterfeit is 100 rupees. If you go to a legitimate bookstore here, literally just across the road from the counterfeit bookstore. It's walking distance. Then it's 350 rupees. And if you buy it in New Zealand, don't do it. 1,250 rupees. So for the price of one book, I can buy three books here in India, or I can buy like 12 counterfeit books. And so publishers are giving Indians a massive, massive discount. And so they should, because Indians per capita earn less than people outside of India, right? So their prices should be less to adjust for what they earn. And I would say that 350 rupees for a book is still too high for India. 100 is much, much better. And I wish gaming companies would do the same thing because Indians are still paying foreign prices for games here in India. It's really, really expensive and it's probably why there's not much of a console culture here in India. If you're wondering where the counterfeit books come from, well, I stumbled upon that by mistake. So the local mills have sales reps. It's just like any other business. They got sales reps and those reps visit the stores at nighttime 
to deliver the product and take new orders. You'll also find counterfeit books sold at intersections across India. But whatever you do, don't buy here because there's no fixed price. The pressure is high and time is limited because you're at a traffic signal. So you don't have time to check the quality of the book and you're going to see why that's a problem in a second. This book's retail is 100 rupees but the bargaining starts at 500 and they'll come down to 200. But what's the point because this book was mouldy and rotten. Another amazing thing here is that you can return your book, whether it's counterfeit or not, and get up to 50% of the purchase price back. That's epic. So all the book lovers out there, what did you think of this book bazaar? India is a great place. If you want to come and buy legitimate books, just look at that price difference compared to the West. Three books for the price of one, and those are the, le the legitimate copies. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments.